Hi everybody, so today we're going to look at subtime practical calculations and we're going to specifically focus on 2015 question 4. So again, as we've seen in the other past videos there, we've got an ion present here and we are asked to figure out the number of electrons and the number of neutrons. Okay, so look, if you're higher level student, you're going to be asked for the um, find out the number of electrons, neutrons, protons of an ion. Okay, so just to be careful there. So we'll um we'll start okay so for part I there okay we're asked for the number of electrons okay so the number of electrons and the number of protons would be the same if it was a neutral atom okay it's not a neutral atom it's three plus so that means it has lost three electrons because electrons are negative so thirteen here represents the atomic number okay and how do I know it's the atomic number not the mass number. Well, the mass number is always the bigger number, okay? Doesn't matter whether it's on top or on the bottom, okay? The smaller number would be the atomic number, and the atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom, okay? So if it was neutral, it would have 13 electrons, or 13 protons, uh, and also, therefore, 13 electrons. But it has lost three additional electrons. So instead of having 13, it now actually only has 10 electrons. And that's our answer for this one here, okay? 10 electrons. Now, the next one is asking for the number of neutrons. And in, as I did with uh, past videos, write out your formula, okay? That's the key. Okay, write out the formula. Okay, so the mass number equals the number of protons plus number of neutrons. Okay. So manipulate that formula there to get um, neutrons on one side and everything else on the other side. So it becomes mass number minus number of protons. And you're going to get your number of um, neutrons in. And then this is just a simple um, elimination. Uh, or elimination says I subtraction and sum. So that becomes, we're looking for the mass number. And the mass number, like I said, is always the bigger number. Okay, and it's 27 minus the number of protons is 13. So for these calculations, the atomic number and the mass number will not change. Okay, the only thing that will change is the number of electrons. So just to bear that in mind. So 27 minus 13 equals 14 neutrons. Okay, so you could have actually answered this sum here, or the second part of this, okay, and got full marks, even if you got the first part wrong. Okay, again, if you write out the formula here, as we have, okay, you'll be fine. Um, so look, that's it for that one, guys. And there's nothing really else to say about it. I just uh, they take practice. And they usually come up as a question four. And they're usually going to be in, in um, an ion for higher level students. Okay, guys, all the best.